don't want to be fake, so I'm not going to upload a video that's like, yeah, woohoo. Health journeys are fun all the time when it's not. It's really fucking difficult sometimes. <laughs> What's that from? Shrek 2. protein shake. I am on orders from my PT to have two protein shakes a day. I use the Rode Wireless Go 2s if anyone is interested yes hello i feel like i've said hello so many times i just i really have missed this i've missed you i've missed uploading my last few vlogs have been like travel i feel like we haven't really sat down and spoken i'm looking forward to this i hope you are too i hope you're happy to have me back i hope you're still here I feel like we've gone up and down from 350 subscribers about 15 times because YouTube just hates me. So if you'd like to, then please like, comment and subscribe if you haven't, just because like it just really makes me happy. So, PT. I never thought that I'd get a... a I'd have... Oh my god. <laughs> It's gonna take a long time, isn't it? I never thought that I would get a PT. Always thought that it was like way too expensive and not really necessary if you're on quite a tight budget, which I still think, I still do think that. You don't need a PT in order to lose weight, in order to reach your goals, but I have found in my journey so far, because obviously you guys know I've lost quite a bit of weight, but I've plateaued for, it's got to be like two years at least, and that's really tough. And it's not like I can't lose weight, but I feel like because I'm prioritising exercise, when before I wasn't doing exercise at all, I didn't know how to align what I was eating to the way that I was exercising and also I, I didn't know the kind of exercise that I should be doing in order to get to where I want to be because I'm just not educated in that and I have, I've, I've never exercised before in my life I, I, so I, I, just didn't, I just didn't know. I found if I did a lot of cardio I would just plateau on my weight and I'd like my body would look quite good but the scales wouldn't move and then my eating would go downhill because I'm like well, well I'm not going to lose weight anyway. If I was like doing weightlifting, which is what I really love to do, again, my body would change, but I would just be so hungry all the time. I, I would just eat loads and then not really want to count calories because I wasn't satisfied at the end of the day. I feel like we need some... I need some background light here. That's nicer. Huzzah! We finally got there. We finally, we finally got a proper setup for a video. <laughs> no makeup today because I'm going to the gym later. Yeah, massive sidetrack. I'm so sorry. A few of my videos recently have been very getting back on track. 
Oh, finally, like, you know, I finally feel like I've cracked it. I am really sorry for, like, the inconsistency of my videos, my journey. I want this to be helpful. I, I want people to be inspired by what I'm doing, and I just feel like my videos recently just haven't been inspiring. I feel like a couple of things that I've said recently haven't been tried and tested enough for me to be like, that's what you gotta do. Now I have a PT, I feel like I can be educated on exactly how to put eating, lifestyle, nutrition, along with the exercise and the workouts and all of that stuff, which is exactly why I've got a PT, is because I want to know that what I'm doing is what I should be doing and I want to know that I'm going to get results and I know for a fact that I'm going to get results with a PT. Also, I feel very, very lucky in the fact that the PT that I have found, he is very clued up on nutrition and exercise. I didn't want a PT where I'm just going to like go in and then be like, right, let's work out, cool, yeah, woof, woof, woof. and then I leave 45 minutes later and then they're like, oh, see you Friday. That's why I basically went and got a PT and then also relay that information in my vlog. I want to be able to help people on their journeys too. So I feel like this will be a really good way for me to learn all about it and to actually learn about what's happening in my body while I'm doing all of these things that I am doing. I had my first session last Monday and it is now Tuesday, the following week so I've had three sessions I had one on Monday one on Wednesday and then one on Monday the first session I'm not gonna go too much into it because I did put a Q&A on my Instagram but like literally nobody replied so I was like okay maybe people don't care the thing that I was most nervous about was like is it really awkward like someone like watching you while you're working out like is it really awkward I'm not even lying to you when I tell you guys that I am noticing a difference in my body already and I actually spoke to my PT yesterday and I said how how long does it take before you notice a difference with PT? And he said, you know, it could be um, anywhere between two weeks to one month. And I was like, what? <laughs> I've been waiting two years for a transformation. I better take some pics each week then. So that is what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I'm just coming at you with my real and relatable vibes, yo. So, went to PT last Monday. I was really fucking nervous about it. Felt like shit. Felt so anxious as I was going. And um, I was just like, right, we're just gonna do it. We're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. We didn't really do much exercise in the first session, to be fair. I went on the scales, held this thing out like this. Out, like stood on the scales and he, told me all of my body measurements basically he weighed me at 79.7 kilograms which is 12 stone five pounds and i didn't know at the time that it was 12 stone five pounds i was like what does that mean 79.7 kilograms and he was like it means it needs to come down and i was like Fair enough. My body fat percentage starting my PT session last week was 43%. That's a lot. That's bad. That needs to come down. Muscle mass, like weight of my muscle, I think it's called muscle mass, is 43.1 kilograms, which I was like, that's not bad. He was like, no, it's not bad, but it could be better. My bone density is 2.3 kilograms, which he said was all right, but it's not, like, that's quite low. He said that he wants that to be higher. I can't remember what number he said he wanted it to be, but he said he wanted it to be quite high. My BMI is 32.7, which is obese. Obese. Can I just, can I just, like, tell you what obese looks like? Apparently... I'm obese. I mean, not that fast because it doesn't, it doesn't, it just doesn't matter. BMI does not matter. It was really funny. He was like, so what we want to do is we want to bring that down because it is too high. What will happen is, um, as you lose weight, we would like you to move from being obese to just being overweight. And I was like, cool. <laughs> Fuckers, we don't care about BMI. The calories that I burn each day resting, it's like my resting calorie burning number, is 2,275. Just like gives me rest in the fact that I don't need to count calories in order to reach my goals. My metabolic age, so the age in which my metabolism is working is 39. I'm 24 years old and my metabolic rate is working 15 years older 
than what I am. No wonder I'm like absolutely knackered and feel like shit all the time. But I did find that quite interesting. And then my water percentage is 42.7%. And I do remember that he said to me that he'd like it to be between 50 and 60. I don't drink enough water. I actually just remembered that I haven't, I haven't drunk any water. Look. This is a very pleasant reminder to go and fill up your water bottle, <laughs> drink some water. <laughs> so I used, to get my, I used to drink more water. He also measured the fat between my muscles and my organs, so like the fat surrounding my organs. One of the biggest reasons why I want to lose weight is because I want to be healthy, I want to live a long life. But he said the number seven is good. I just revealed every tiny little part of myself to all of you. <laughs> After we'd done that, I got on the treadmill and did like a kind of like a slow paced walk I'm not gonna lie um, while we spoke about the plan and how we're gonna move forward and he sent me a screenshot of the grams of macros that he wants me to consume each day focus on how many grams of carbs I'm having how many grams of protein I'm having and how many grams of fat I'm having already like within a week I feel so different and I, I just I do really feel like this is like really well working for me like already it's been a week you guys can all do this at home put in details into a calorie macros counter thing online it comes up with like how much they would recommend so as long as you have a scale at home you can do this and you can figure out what macros you're needing if calorie counting is something that you find really difficult or like me you find like eating under a certain calorie limit leaves you unsatisfied at the end of the day and then you just end up like binging that's that's what I kept doing. I think the reason that that was because I wasn't eating the right macronutrients to satisfy my body. I'd probably go over my calories by like 200 calories and that's not that much, but I'm, I feel full. I'm not gonna tell you exactly what my requirements are because it is different for everybody and I would really encourage you if that's something that sounds like you'd like to follow, you go and kind of look up your own because it's not good to be following someone else's plan like to the T. So that's what I've been doing. I've been having a lot of a lot more protein like I said he wants me to have two protein shakes a day which is great well it was until I ran out of my favorite protein and then ordered a different one and I didn't like it then the workout so I like I said I've had three sessions I haven't actually been to the gym outside of those sessions yet which is why I'm like, I'm going today, like I am gonna go today. He has been teaching me a lot of compound exercises. All we've done so far really is deadlifts, shoulder press, bench press, bench, bench press and squats. But like the w squats where you like walk under the bar like that, step back and then squat with the weight on your shoulders. I love lifting weights. It's like my favorite thing to do. It makes me feel like I'm so powerful. So yeah, that's been really good. And he has given me a hit workout that he wants me to do. Mum's ring me again. He has also given me a hit workout, which I'm gonna go and do today which is basically where you go round on like the bike, the treadmill, the cross trainer, this one that you go like this, I can't remember what it's called. And you go like slow for a little bit and then like really intense and fast. I do in between sessions because I think that's like a big fat burning exercise. It burns a lot of fat, which is what we want to do. We want to burn the fat, gain the muscle. So I hope you guys have enjoyed my TED talk. I should probably get on with the day and do some stuff. I was meant to have a really productive day today. <laughs> I don't even know what I've done. I've got a lot of work done, so that's the main thing. Hope you guys are all well and good. Um, I hope you guys have had a good Tuesday. It's the last day of summer today. I'm really excited for autumn though. The crispy, foggy mornings, that's what I live for. Autumn is my favorite season. See you later. Mm -hmm.